Okay, I'm going to change up the camera angle since I made made some some room and put this in a different spot. We'll we'll see how this goes. This is the fourth of uh, a video. I'm going to do Beastmaster. I believe it's an an original table, but it it's in the style of the 1970s uh, electromechanical tables. So here we go. Beastmaster. Always like that coin sound. All right, here we go. As usual, visuals are top notch on these tables. A nice realistic ball, light and shadow. It's excellent. Actually, with this table, it's hard to drain it down the middle. Of course, I was able to do it pretty fast. It's much more common to lose the ball on the left side. and visuals are nice for the era of table this is meant to represent it actually plays nicely however the arcade video game style sound effects not so great I would have preferred something else but still the game itself is uh, fun. So, here we go. Did a little nudge there to get it out of, out of that very easy dream. Ah. Have to re really let it play play off the center pin there. Because it really won't go down most of the time like like that. You can use that to your advantage. So I still have to master the left side. to nudge. You don't want to nudge in the wrong direction. As you can see, it tends to favor the left side. Oh, <laughs> did it again. All right, last time. my 
release a little bit. See what happens. You really have to play a bit uh, different with this machine. Ah, did it again. Well, that's probably about as good as I'll do today, but so that was Beastmaster. Alright, until next time.